Ah, the North Sea. One of the seas the Netherlands is connected to. Today I am in one of the big harbour cities in the Netherlands called Eymuiden. Now this doesn't seem too environment friendly, but hey, at least they built some windmills to promote green energy. Nevertheless, you got quite some wildlife going on in this coastal place, and today I will show you some of the birds that I filmed. This is one in approximately 37 species of cormorants. They are excellent divers and can go over 30 meters deep. In Asia, they are even trained to catch fish for fishermen. Why is it that the cormorant can dive so much deeper than other birds? Well, unlike ducks for example, they don't have water repellent feathers, so they can sink far more easily. To dry up their feathers afterwards, they usually sit on a rock, or on a street light, or wherever else they like. The Eurasian oyster catcher is a bird that can be found throughout a lot of countries, mainly in Europe and Asia of course, but in the winter also in Africa. The first thing I do when I do my research about the animals that I filmed is look for their English names. These often have a very different meaning than the Dutch names. And the same goes with the oyster catcher, which we call school exter. Now they do eat mussels, so the name oyster catcher isn't too strange. Though mussels and oysters can't really run away, so catching may be a bit of a weird word choice. The Dutch name, school exter, is much stranger though. To explain this, we have to cut the word in two pieces. Schol, which is a type of flatfish, which you can see here. And exter, which is another bird, the magpie. The exter part can be explained because oyster catchers have black and white feathers, much like the Eurasian magpie, which you can see here. The schol part is rather strange. These birds don't eat fish after all. The theory is that it comes from the word schallen, which could have to do something with the noise the birds make. The Rudy Turnstone is also a widespread bird, and like the name suggests, it turns stones around. It does that in order to find food. The Dutch name translated means stone walker because it walks on stone. And finally, I have a little bit of the Eurasian rock pipit. These little birds are winter guests in the Netherlands, but only in very small amounts. One thing I know for sure about them is that they won't sit still for a second. So as you have seen, there are a lot of birds by the coast here in the Netherlands. I do have more, but I'll show them in another video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.